I had a chance to screen Wendy Williams' new Lifetime movie last night. I'm Teresa Curry Reyes, and I have a couple of spoilers for you coming up next. Listen, I had an opportunity to watch the Lifetime movie about Wendy Williams that's coming out on Lifetime this weekend. And let me tell you, I thought it was amazing. I loved, loved, loved this movie. The actress playing Wendy Williams, Sierra Payton, she does a wonderful job of bringing Wendy Williams' uh, character and story to life. You know, Wendy Williams is still wildly popular. You know, she's the queen of, former queen of New York radio, and she is still dishing the dirt. So I think people are really looking for whether or not she's going to be authentic and is this going to be um, an honest retelling of her life and I can tell you I can assure you that it is she really nails Wendy Williams's mannerisms and gestures down to a T even the way she shifts her feet um, just before Wendy goes out on stage she nails that she also nails Wendy's accent. Um, the cadences in her voice are just like Wendy's. The way Wendy's voice goes way up abruptly and then comes down. Now, she doesn't look exactly like Wendy Williams, but she gives us the essence of Wendy. She captures Wendy's spirit and makes us forget that we're not watching the real Wendy Williams. What struck me the most were the scenes portraying Wendy in her childhood. I really thought those scenes were very, very interesting. So it slides us back into 1975, where we meet the 11-year-old Wendy Williams, the fat girl in town, as she is referred to in the movie. She talks too much. She's clumsy. Um, she even falls at a birthday party and breaks a chair, um, often embarrassing her parents and her family. Um, I really appreciated seeing Wendy you know her life story as a child we we know the confident wendy williams that is present on television today but to take us back to her childhood really helps us to see the beginning um, of her life and what she endured now the way her mom is depicted in this in this film the mother is almost depicted as sort of a stage mom i also had an opportunity to view the documentary um what a mess that's going to air just after the movie. And listening to her mom talks, because her mom is in that documentary, her parents are in there and so is her sister. I think you're going to see a sweeter version of her mom than what we see in the movie. In the movie, she's more like a stage mom who is frustrated and oftentimes embarrassed by Wendy's weight and the fact that she talks too much. She's often told to stop talking too much, don't talk too much when they go somewhere. And those of us who talk for a living, um, I think we were all told that at some point that we talk too much. And so in the movie, it's not just her mom who's telling her, you know, talking to her constantly about being overweight. There's a scene where her father walks into the room and tells her, you know, how beautiful she would be if she would just lose the weight. You know, they're struggling to keep Wendy uh, you know, in a dress size, that's smaller. You know, she's already in a 12 and she may have to go to a 14. So there are some moments like that in the movie. Um, in the version that I saw, if, if this version is in the final version, there's a bedwetting scene where Wendy's 11 and she wakes up and she sees that, you know, she has soiled her sheets and um, uh, her mother walks in and, you know, the mother doesn't really get it and she she sort of um chalks this problem of wetting the bed as a bladder problem because of wendy's weight now wendy knows already that it's not the weight; it's stress it is what she's going through she's being bullied by kids she's getting into fights and she's struggling with her family there are times when her mom you know is asking her little brother Tommy if he's sneaking her Twinkies so her weight is very much an issue as a child um, what I took away from those scenes is that Wendy's parents were very loving they were very concerned about her 
they wanted her to make it and sometimes as parents you know parents we say things you know that um, you don't know how much damage you're doing by saying it you just want your kids to make it you just want them to not suffer and um, they didn't want Wendy to suffer they didn't want her to be ridiculed and for her to be bullied and so I think that they were really frustrated they were trying to get her to see that this was really causing a lot of problems in her life and um, so I appreciated those scenes very much and I and I I thought it was very brave of Wendy to share those very um, intimate moments with you know with her parents another thing that I liked was that Wendy despite um, all of the ridicule she received because of being overweight as a kid and um, you know the stress put on her that she felt she was receiving by her parents despite all of that Wendy always knew who she was she always knew who she was and she couldn't wait to get out of her parents house and go and be fabulous which of course she she did mm -hmm.